All right. So they gave us the derivative. They gave us f. There we go. They say if k is 3, they give us f of x. Write an equation for the tangent line at the point 4. Well, if you plug 4 into that, you get 1 over 16 minus 12. That's a fourth. So our tangent line automatically is y minus 1 fourth equals something x minus 4, right? So we got to plug into the derivative to see what that is. But if you drop a 4 into the derivative, which they gave us, remember k is just stupid 3, right? So you get 3 minus 8 over, I'm just plugging into the derivative right here. Yeah, because x is 4, so 16 minus 3x, which is 3 times 4, which is 12 squared. So you get negative 5 over 4 squared, which is 16. So there's our tangent line. If they ask you to use it to approximate, which they probably won't because they're going to make you do that with a series, I imagine. But you just plug into x and then solve for y. Okay, let k equal 4. Determine if there's a relative min or max at 2. Um, we can do this a couple different ways, but again, we already have the derivative. So we're going to find f prime at 2, which would be, what's k4? So 4 minus 4, which is going to be 0 over 4 minus, not 4 minus, we're plugging in. Two, oh yeah, 4, that's right. 4 minus, k is 4, that's 2, so what's it, 8? squared, but that's zero. So f prime of two is zero. And then all you got to do is check. You can check the second derivative or you can check uh, both sides of the derivative at two if you want to do that. So, which is kind of, so I'm going to write the derivative out. It is, what is k4? So it's four minus two x over x squared minus four x squared. There we go. So if you plug zero into that, oh, you get undefined, so you can't even plug zero into that. If you plug one into that, you get, uh, what, two over a positive number, so you get a positive. And if you plug three into that, you get a negative over a positive. So two is a relative max, and this is justified, so we're going to say that. Um, there is a relative max, x equals two, since f prime of x changes, and we saw a bunch of these changes from positive to negative. Okay, find the value was critical point at negative 5. We'll have a critical point. We just need the derivative to be 0. And if k is, well, we don't know k, so this is part c, but if x is negative 5, you're going to get k plus 10 over negative 5 squared is 25 plus 5k squared. Why does it seem too easy? Find the value of k for which f has a critical point. We just need the derivative to be 0. Isn't that just negative 10? Okay. It could also be negative 5 because that makes the derivative undefined, but that would also make the function undefined. Um, yeah. So anyway, you just get k equals negative 10. That's all they want us to do? That seems like a super easy question. Find the value of k for which f has a critical point at x equals negative 5. Derivative, yeah. Okay. Uh, find the partial fraction decomposition and find the integral. Okay. Let me just steal that. Don't these all seem so easy now that we've gone through all the BC curriculum? You guys are probably just like, oh, this is so boring because it's so easy. Give me a challenge, calculus. So we know that it's going to be something over x plus something over x minus 6, because that's how this factors, right? So you get a times x minus 6 plus b times x has got to be 1. If you plug in 6, you get 6b equals 1, which means b equals a sixth. And if you plug in negative 6, or positive, no, if you plug in 0, ugh, you get negative 6a equals 1. So a, what just happened there? A a is negative one-sixth. Cool. So I'm just going to put the one-sixth out front. But first, let's drop them in here, right? So negative one-sixth, one-sixth. That's what f of x equals. What's this s first? Boom. So the integral, this is the second part. I'm going to put the one-sixth out front of negative one over x plus one over x minus six dx. 
and that becomes 1 6 the natural log I'm going to flip these around because it's going to be x minus 6 minus ln absolute value of x plus c. They don't ask us to find c or anything, right? They just say find the integral. Okay. And that's it. You could, again, if you felt so inclined, make this the ln of x minus 6 over x plus c. All right.